G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Tuesday afternoon here in Australia, market down again ever so slightly, 1.9 trillion. So down th minus 3.8%, Bitcoin dominance just under 42%. Volume obviously dropped uh, a fair amount. Bitcoin sitting around 42,500 and gas prices around $4.22. And again, it's people jumping in and out of altcoins thinking we're in a bull market, we're in a bear market. Oh, to be honest, that's what I think uh, is happening a lot. Could be wrong on that, but I just get the feeling because we go from green day, red day, green day, red day, and it's just all over the shop. Uh, and again, I've already told you what I'm doing uh, and that I am, you know, I don't believe we're in a in a dead cat bounce just yet but i am somewhat suspicious that we might be but what i want to do is give you some hopium because i don't want to seem all bearish at the moment when i'm not bearish i am just suspicious we might be uh in a again dead cat bounce that then really would likely take us into a bear market but that hasn't fully played out yet and we'll get to that shortly but let's just have uh, a look at the market and see how it's doing again Pretty much red we go from one day green to the next day red to the next day green to the next day red but ever so slowly bitcoin is moving down so it's still looking dead cat bounce-ish and we'll get to the chart shortly and have a look all right what's done well then in the last 24 hours there's always going to be some outliers there we can see usdc <laughs> it's up it's actually worth a dollar Right, what's done well in the last 24 hours? There we go, there's always a couple of outliers. So Phantom up 11%, which is nice. Wobi Token had a bit of a, uh, a rebound. OKB, OMG Network, Filecoin, very, very minor move. And then we can see it really is just the stable peg sort of stuff that some of them have a slight gain. And then it is just red. So let's get into it. What's done the worst in the top 100? Because it's not looking overly pretty. There we go. Perpetual uh, is down 15%, 15.5%. MENA protocol down 10%. Rweave, Curve Finance, Uni. I mean, Uni pumped like 20, 30%. I think it was 24 hours ago. So, of course, it's going to have a bit of a pullback. Aave is down. Synthetics is down. So, yeah, a number of coins down. A couple of double digit losses and then plenty of high single digit losses, and they'll make their way all down into the. Uh, low single digit losses all right this is really the chart that uh, everyone should be following if you're trying to understand what's happening in the crypto markets now may will that last forever we don't know but at the moment bitcoin still leads the way and this is where we are here's the hopium though it's definitely looking dead cat bounceish again here was our high formed a low had everyone getting excited and then we start to form more lows and it could definitely go lower. For me, I won't be truly believing that we're in a a bear market unless we go t below 28,000. Now don't get me wrong, we go below 38,000, I'm starting to get worried and we get down to 28,000, I'm pretty much uh, fully sold by the time we get to here that we are in a bear market. But nothing's guaranteed in life as I said, I want to give you some hopium. So the hopium is that we are in a falling wedge in Bitcoin. So basically what's happening is it's bouncing around. There's the top, there's the low. There's the top, there's the low. There's sort of the top and there's the low. Now these statistically break bullish. This is a bullish pattern, a falling wedge getting tighter and tighter. So again, maybe we have to come back down to 38,000 for us to then bump and start to go higher. So there is definitely bullish things in this pattern and bearish at the same time. And quite often, a lot of the time there is. So the bearish is that this is, again, possibly a dead cat bounce. It's not guaranteed yet. We still haven't even really come below here, the $40,000 mark. So if we come back and sort of sit on here and retest it a few times, that's fine. But again, maybe we have to come bounce down here and then we start to break up. So... The bearish pattern, we all know about the dead cat bounce. The bullish is we're in a falling wedge. And these generally, I think like 60, nearly 70% of the time, are, are bullish, sorry, not bearish, are bullish. So it's bearish that it's coming downwards and it gets scary. But once it finds to the end and it doesn't have to get all the way down to here for it to happen, can happen anywhere in here, generally they break out positive to the upside. So there's the bullish scenario for Bitcoin. It's not bearish yet. It's just looking like it could be. 
but that's not confirmed yet. And again, this uh, falling wedge is a bullish uh, technical chart pattern most of the time. So that's what we need to keep in mind. All right, let's have a look at plenty. As you can see, I've got heaps of coins here. We're not going to focus on news too much today. I want to show you some bullishness in the charts because there's bullishness in the charts for sure. Ethereum. Here's Ethereum. So it's going back to 2015 against the dollar. So we run this line through here to try and get as many touch points as we can. And what it shows here is Bitcoin is possibly undersold. Now you can move this line around a little bit. So it's not an exact science when you do this. Again, you could pull this down and say, all right, look, there we've got a few more touch points. But really, I think that's where we've got the most amount of touch points. So for me, that says that Ethereum is actually undersold at the moment. It's undervalued, not undersold, sorry, uh, underbought, uh, it's below its fair value. Its fair value is roughly around about this line. And again, give or take, you can always move these lines a little bit here. Again, you can go, oh, no, it's got, oh, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, you can uh, move this and say, oh, no, this is probably... Uh, got more touch points. I mean, that still leaves it uh, undervalued. I'm just going to say around about here is where we get the most touch points. So for me, when I look at this, it says that Ethereum is under its fair value price against the US dollar. Now, don't get me wrong. It definitely can go well below it, as we see over here. And it can travel well under it for quite some times. But on average, since, the, since Ethereum's inception in 2017, it's generally been above this line. Here's the period where it's been below this line. We touched on the line, broke above it, and now we're below it again. So Ethereum on the dollar value doesn't look too bad. Let's compare it against uh, its Bitcoin value. So something interesting is happening here. Here's the floor. Generally, if you see Ethereum down here against Bitcoin, this is generally, you know you're in the depths of the bear market. Now, it's actually gone below. You could say that this is the true bottom, but it's only ever been here for a short while. The Generally, this is kind of uh, the point here where it generally bounces off, pretty much bounced off there, not quite bounced off there, bounced off a number of times around here. So really, this is the bottom. This is the outlier. This is the period where it fell below. Now, really, when Ethereum is valued under this yellow line, you can say that, all right, we're probably going to get a bounce from here to the upside if we're in a bullish trend. And if we don't, then it's probably a bit of a confirmation that we actually are in a bear market. So this yellow line here is where I'd start to consider scaling into ETH uh, once it gets down to here because it's generally not a bad price now again it doesn't mean you just buy it straight here because we don't know where it's going to go and this is just how it's played out so far if ethereum continues to do what it's been doing over you know sort of periods of time and people talking about it flipping bitcoin this will change and then again this might start to be the floor but at the moment it's just kind of ranging we can see old resistance points and support points Bang, bounced off it, bang, bounced off it, got pretty close. But now what we can see here is it's forming a bit of a wedge. We did break out, we've come back down, fall below, and now we are right on that line. So ETH against Bitcoin is looking bullish. But we just have to wait and see. These None of these chart patterns are 100%. This could still fall below and have to come back and retest here. But at the moment, it does look like it's getting ready to break out against Bitcoin. But there's no guarantees in life. We'll have to wait and see. The market is all very stagnant at the moment. But Ethereum, not looking too bad. Again, looks like it's undervalued against the dollar and looks like it's getting ready to break out. And this is actually quite bullish. So it broke out came back down, retested it, has fallen in, and now it's sitting right on this line. And again, you can even move this line a fraction if you want. You can kind of bring that line down to around there. And what we have had is a breakout. It's come back down, retested this a few times. And again, that is a very bullish pattern. Then this could then start to run and Ethereum could possibly come and break its old all-time highs against Bitcoin. So again, there's lots of bullish things happening at the moment, even though things have been a little bit slow, you know, some coins, you know, having their green days and then their red days, but generally overall, a lot of them have been going down, but there's plenty of bullish stuff. All right, let's have a look. 
Matic. Here we go. This is Matic against the US dollar. So it traveled sideways forever. I mean, imagine you were lucky enough to pick up Matic for, you know, basically around a cent. Because it's, you know, it's been up around here, which is kind of four cents, down to around about sort of, you know, half a cent or even less it got down there but on average it was around about a cent to two cents and i was lucky enough this is where i managed to pick it up uh in and around here i got it for between one cent to three cents so i was pretty happy with that but then boom this is the explosion so this is the average price for matic at the moment now again you can get this line and you can slightly change it a little bit like that if you want it doesn't really matter how you move this line these don't need to be exact this is just giving you a rough guide of where matic is against the dollar since its breakout because this is where it started to break out made its move up fell below came back retested a few times and then had its breakout so have a look at this matic has been traveling sideways roughly since april this year that's accumulation that's what's going on there this is a big accumulation phase. Had a bit of a break out there, set its high, came back down, set its low, and now have a look where it is. Now, don't get me wrong. Nothing is guaranteed in life, and nothing I say is financial advice. This is all just my personal opinion. I'm definitely no financial advisor, but I've done all right, and this is how I make, again, they are guesses, and, you know, I don't like to use the word bets, but they are kind of a bet, but not a gambling bet as in, you know, this horse comes first or whatever. This is just against this, Matic looks like it's probably undervalued at the moment against the dollar. So it could be a good buy, but don't get me wrong, this could travel sideways for a lot longer. It's all going to be dependent on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin continues to dump, then everything else is going to continue to dump. But at the moment, Matic looking nice against the dollar. Matic against Ethereum. No, sorry, Bitcoin. All right, so here we go. Again, this was really the floor. This was Matic when it first came out, had some peaks, uh, and it was just sitting. And again, what we can do is we'll change, we'll put this in just like we did a horizontal wave. There we go. This is basically the floor. Hereabouts. This is roughly where Matic's been. That's the floor. When you see Matic against Bitcoin, if it ever gets back down here again, then it's probably a good buy. But again, it had some peaks and it always come back down and sort of retouch this line until we get over here and it finally had its breakout against Bitcoin. Peaked up, traveled sideways. Peaked up, traveled sideways. Peaked up, another sort of big accumulation phase right there. Peaked up, traveled sideways and then we had this big massive sort of blow off this is where matic got to its highest price and again i think it was like a dollar 80 or two dollars or something this is against bitcoin though now what we can see is look at this it's ranging 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 and again we can pull this out to a roundabout here now broke down below but look where it went to broke down below and came and retested an old point you know again you can basically pull this sort of back to a roundabout here there you go so old previous resistance became support and now look what it's doing it's been traveling sideways within this range for ages and again you can you know draw this out even further sorry yep leave that there and look what Maddox's been doing for ages. Big sideways accumulation. And yes, this absolutely could come down to here. It could even possibly have to come down to here. You've got to then have a look at your charts and ask yourself what you think is going to happen in the market. If you think we are going, uh, are in a bear market and things are going lower, then you wouldn't touch this. But if you believe that we're still in an accumulation phase within a bigger, uh, broad uh, bull market, I was about to say bear market, then this looks like it could be a really good buy. This is a really big accumulation phase. So maybe this is getting ready for its next big leg up. You have to wait and see. The dollar looks good. It looks good against Bitcoin. Uh, all right, what else have we got? The graph. Another interesting one. All right, so here's where the graph started. Had a big surge up, came back down, found its bottom point, had a big surge up, and now look at it, it's just been slowly but surely coming back to its mean, had a breakout, come back down, and again, it really is just sitting on its mean, and have a look where that is. It's basically at old support and resistance spots at the moment. 
So again, this feels like a really big accumulation phase against the dollar, all right? Looks nice against the dollar, maybe undervalued against the dollar. How's it doing against Ethereum? So again, had its big breakout, come back down, basically retested. You can, you know, you can call this, you know, bring this to around about here, thereabouts. This is basically the floor for it, and that is where it looks like it is at the moment against Ethereum at the floor. Now again, can this go lower and break break below? Absolutely. I just don't know if it's going to come all the way down to here. Definitely possible. But what we can see is it's just getting very quiet. It's not really dumping any lower. It gets a little bit higher, but it's hanging here. And again, this, you know, we could move this line and say, no, it actually has to get down to here. So it's just thereabouts. These lines, again, they're not, you know, micro millimeter perfect or, you know, Satoshi perfect and all the rest of it or uh, Guay perfect. It's just a rough guide. But again, found a floor here. And this floor seems to be around about where it is now. So again, whether you want to have this, you know, up here, you know, kind of touching that, or you want to bring it down a little bit below, or you just want to put it somewhere in the middle, doesn't really matter. Thereabouts seems to be the floor. So the graph against the dollar looks like it's undervalued. The graph against Ethereum looks like it is right at its floor. All the enthusiasm's gone out of the market. It's not dumping and going further down. It's just holding here. Again, not to say it can't go down. Let's have a look. Graph against Bitcoin then. Again, something very interesting. Here was the graph. Had its big breakout against Bitcoin. Came back down. Found its low. Had a breakout. Ranged there for a while. And have a look where it's ranging compared to where it is now. Very similar, ranged here, broke out, broke out, had its big sort of, again, blow off top for that period. And ever since, it's just been ranging down and down and down and down and down until we get to where we are. Now, what we need to remember is this. Again, you can move this if you want and say, not we need to come down to here. Maybe we need to come down to around about here. This is just thereabouts, ladies and gentlemen. And then again, you know, you can bring this across to here and say, well, maybe this is where it needs to be. But what it looks like to me is that it's it's looking not too bad. Could it go lower? Yep, down to here. Could it maybe have to come back down to here? Are we truly in you know the depths of a bear market and everything's going down? Maybe, but I don't think so. At the moment, this looks pretty good. So again, you need to ask yourself, do you believe we're in a bear market? If you are, then you don't really want to be buying anything. Do you believe this is just a correction within a broader bull market? Well, then this is looking pretty sweet. The graph, again, against Ethereum looking nice, against Bitcoin looking nice, and against the dollar looks like it's undervalued. Aave. All right, here we go. Here's Aave against the dollar. We can see it's had a number of touch points here. Touch point over here, touch point here, uh, and a number of touch points here. So against the dollar... Are they exactly the same, looking like it's undervalued at the moment? Let's go now compare it to Ethereum. This was the bottom. Again, a lot of people, you know, will probably say this is actually the real bottom. We can see numerous touches, but we had that one sort of, you know, moment where it fell down below. And where was that? Back in November of 2020 is where it's hit its low. Now, again, Aave, this is the new Aave, not uh, Lend Old. So you could uh, go and compare it to back then as well. But at the moment, look where it's coming down. And it's had a number of sort of touches down and around about here. And it looks like the volatility has just kind of gone out of it. It's had very little volatility against Ethereum. This looks pretty good to me. Again, undervalued against the dollar. All the volatility, it's come down. Looks like it's found a floor. Could it go lower? Absolutely. You need to make your own mind up and then take a guess. I know what I'm seeing here. And I believe we're still in a bull market. So it looks like it could be a good buy. I'm still waiting to see what Bitcoin does. I need to see Bitcoin break some marks before I'm getting into altcoins. But should Bitcoin start to break some of those benchmarks that I've showed you, and again, we go back, I need to see it get back through 45. I need to get 48 and uh, but above 52. I will definitely start jumping into the altcoins, but not until Bitcoin does that. At the moment, I'm really focusing on Bitcoin and, uh, and stable coins until I see this change. But Aave against Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum looking good. Aave against the dollar looks quite nice. 
Aave against Bitcoin. So this is the floor. Had its peak, came way up here, came down. And again, look at this big basing period. This is through the bear market. This is legitimately the bear market. Sort of February 2018, this is around about uh, where it was. Uh, everyone said, yeah, it's all over and cryptocurrency's dead. And that was it for Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're all done. And look at that. Just stay quiet, stay quiet, stay quiet, stay quiet for such a long time. Then it started to break out. And have a look at this. Got rejected at an old resistance point and support point. Finally broke through. Came back and have a look at this. Basically retested. Actually came back down, retested this, and then retested this a number of times. But this is a pattern that seems to be playing out. Had its breakout moment. Again, falling wedge that I talk about with Bitcoin. Look what happens. Boom, breaks out. Goes sideways a bit. Another falling wedge. Boom, has a big breakout. Another falling wedge. Boom, has a big breakout. This is another falling wedge here. Boom, has a breakout. And this looks like it's in a falling wedge again at the moment. Now, this is Aave against Bitcoin. Now, look where it currently is right now on some old support and resistance uh, marks. Support and resistance, support and resistance, support, support, resistance. Now, could this go lower? Absolutely. Maybe it has to come back down here. I don't know. No one knows exactly. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But at the moment, I would have to ask myself, the upside for Aave is all the way up here going to new all-time highs against Bitcoin as opposed to maybe having to come back down here. And yes, definitely possibly, possibly having to come back down here. But that means Bitcoin is doing truly awful as well. So at the moment, are they looking all right? Let's have a look at ADA. ADA is a bit of a, a harder one. It's done so well. This is ADA against the dollar since it had its breakout in the everything crash March 2020. Constant touches on here. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Almost came back and touched it. Uh, again, resistance, resistance, support and resistance. Bounce from it, support, support, a little bit of resistance and support, support. So at the moment, ADA against the dollar, looking quite uh, nice. So undervalued, under its fair price. Let's have a look at ADA versus Bitcoin. Now it's heavily up against Bitcoin, but a lot of the altcoins are gaining on Bitcoin and have been over time. Again, this was the big 2018 blow off. Everyone got super excited. And then here we go, 2018, it just died. And everyone said, again, everything was over. Look where it came up. Found an old resistance point, rejected, came back down to its old true lows. And this was just accumulation, accumulation, accumulation with some movement in there. And then we start that big move as of this year. Again, we really started the move back in April, March. Again, the, the everything crash in sort of March 2020. That's when it started to move. It retraced, started to move, retraced started to move, retraced, started to move. Looks like it might be coming back to retrace. Now look where it is at the moment. It's basically touching an old resistance point. Now it may have to come back down to here against Bitcoin, absolutely possible, or maybe it's found its bottom. Because again, you could put in a wedge here. You could have a line going down there and a line going up there. They don't always break to the upside, but ADA is not looking too bad against both Bitcoin and the dollar. What about ADA versus Ethereum? Breakout, traveling sideways, just keeping pace, breakout, got to the depths of, again, sort of, you know, the part of the bear market, you know, moving into 20, the bottom. So again, this is here, March, the crash of everything. Now look how it started to pull on. And look where it got rejected, old resistance. Found some support there for a while, got rejected again. Found some support, new all-time high, came back retested, came up to here, has come back down, has made a high, and looks like it's getting ready to move. So ADA for me, it's a really hard one. I'm unsure, don't get me wrong, I get the feeling like it's going higher. I'm just not sure it's at the best buy at the moment, but it could be, because it's still fairly low down around here, and maybe it only has to drop a little bit uh, to come back down and retest this. Maybe it simply doesn't retest it. But ADA, 
Yeah, in between, dollar value definitely looks undervalued. BTC value looks like it could be getting ready for a breakout. And again, against Ethereum, we'll have to wait and see. Right, Sol. I haven't bought any Sol, but I am considering it right now. Here we go. This is where it sort of had, you know, this wasn't the true bottom, but this is where it had its breakout, finally made a move, had to come back down and test one more low, which was pretty much around about here anyway. Did it go a little bit lower? Yes, but basically this was the bottom. Now look at this move. Resistance, 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 breakout, almost came back down, and we can see support, 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 resistance, resistance, and now support, support, and now look where Sol is sitting right now. It is right on that line. So you could say that Sol is at fair value right now. Could it go lower? Absolutely. Maybe it needs to come down and test $80. I don't think it's going to, but maybe it does. But at the moment, it is sitting on its fair value. So dollar-wise, Sol's looking good. Sol to Ethereum. All right, here's the bottom. If you ever see it down here, it's probably a steal, short of something being truly awful. Whether it will ever make it back down to here is another question. We'll have to wait and see. We can see breakout, correction, breakout, choppiness. But again, really just traveling sideways here. Big breakout. And what's interesting now is look what we have here. Breakout, retracement, breakout, retracement, breakout, retracement. Big breakout, retracement. And now we have a lot of sideways movement. And again, this is on the daily. Look at this. Resistance, 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 support, sorry, support, 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 support. Basically support here, support there, support there, support there, support there. Sol is looking very juicy against Ethereum right now, like it is ready for a breakout. No guarantees in life because maybe this has to come back down and retest some of these levels down here. That is definitely possible. But at the moment, I'd say in the next 24 hours against Ethereum, we should know where this is gonna go. Now it could continue to travel sideways. Uh, and again, I, I hate to say it, it could break up or down, we don't know. But at the moment, it just feels like something's getting ready to happen. What about Solana against BTC? Again, something very similar. Here we go, breakout. Come back down and retest the old uh, mark has resistance at its old peak, then it becomes support, and then we go to new all-time highs, it chops and changes around there, this becomes both support and resistance at times, breaks out. So we have our breakout, sets its new high, bit of a correction, goes into, again, a bit of a high, correction, 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 high, correction, and again, have a look at Sol against BTC. Resistance, support, 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 basically support, 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 and now look where we are. So Sol is looking very good at the moment, but there are no guarantees in life. I don't want you to think that this means it is breaking out and it's going to the upside. These things get broken uh, neutral plenty of times. More often than not, it's a good indication that it breaks to the up or the down, but this could just travel sideways for a while, who knows? But this also could break to the downside. Maybe we need to come down and retest this. Maybe we need to come down and retest this. Maybe we have to come back down and really retest here where the true breakout was. But what I'd be looking for is uh, if Sol breaks out, I'll be trying to pick it up around about here on the Satoshi level. So what's that? 27,000 sort of Satoshis thereabouts is where I'd start to look. If you're not happy to buy here, again, this, this could break out to the upside. Maybe now is the buying point. I don't know. Time will tell. But again, around 27,000, I'd definitely be looking at it. And all the way down to... What's that? 18,000 Satoshis. I think Sol is going to be uh, quite a good buy down there, but I just don't know if it's going to get back down there. And if by some miracle it got down to you know 10,000 Satoshis, then I'd be definitely uh, chucking a lot at it uh, right down here because this was a big accumulation zone. Not a lot of accumulation here. There was a little bit. This was basically all hype, and now we're seeing how much of this hype can last. But is this just this? before we then see something like this? Or does this, again, have to come back down and test some of these levels? Either way, Sol doesn't look too bad at the moment. 
chain link against the dollar here's where it's been going it is basically under fair value at the moment it doesn't often get below this line we can see that it doesn't stay here for too long and generally when it does what happens big move up when it gets below big move up when it gets down and touches this line big move up big move up now we've been bouncing around here for a while so chain link looking very nice against the dollar all right chain link against ethereum this is the bottom if you ever find chain link down here it's probably a steal again not financial advice just my personal opinion and i'm not sure we'll ever see it down here again but if it ever comes down to this yellow line which again there was real there's a lot of uh, accumulation kind of build up going on in there i would start to scale into chain link uh from here against ethereum because i know anywhere from here to here is probably going to be a super good buy but what we can see is it had a breakout came down found a floor and look where we are now chain link just sitting on that floor at the moment now could it go lower yep maybe it does have to come down to here to 4611 uh, paraguays or guay or whatever it is uh, i don't know but at the moment it looks pretty good again the risk is maybe we have to come back down to here possibly even down to here i don't see that happening but possible the gain is chain link sets a new all-time high against ethereum risk to reward ladies and gentlemen again looks like it's at fair value maybe just under fair value against the dollar and now it looks like it's sitting on a point where it has been resistance before and now it is using it as support like it might be getting ready for another big move up again no guarantees in life now let's go to bitcoin all right very similar kind of chart here's the floor accumulation accumulation starts to have its breakout hits a peak finds its new low and look where its low was old resistance and basically old resistance just about back here as well comes up bounces around getting uh, knocked down by its old resistance finally breaks out comes back down retest this old resistance a little bit below but that's all right again jumping around gets rejected by its old all-time high now it starts to use it basically as support we fell under a bit of an abnormality come back up and again look where it is it just keeps chopping and changing around this mark so link against bitcoin is looking quite nice as well so like i said i want to bring you some hopium there's plenty of hopium out there in the chart but unfortunately it's all based on whatever happens to bitcoin if bitcoin dumps then all this is going to be invalidated and we're probably coming back down to here and then maybe even down to here but if bitcoin starts to make a move up it naturally drags all the altcoins with them and they are looking quite nice like they might be getting ready for a big move up but again based on bitcoin all right last but not least is dot so polka dot here we can see plenty of confirmation here banging around uh, that kind of mark we dip below it becomes a bit of resistance and support and then it has its breakout boom we go all the way up support support and then it becomes resistance finds its low and again have a look at that look where its low is where an old resistance point was it finds support there then it goes on its next big move up and it's bouncing around bouncing around hovering on this line so at the moment polka dot is basically fair value on its fair value line now again maybe it has to come back down to here 21 dollars. maybe it has to come back down to here maybe sort of 18 dollars. that's definitely possible but what we can see is it's abnormal for it to be down here we haven't seen polka dot through a bear market yet so that this line can definitely change but at the moment looking good against the dollar like it might be a good buy dot against ethereum started way up there fell down okay boom breakout came back down and here's a perfect example this was a resistance point then became support 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 no we fell through we had to come back down and retest this kind of zone here and again you can even move this line down a little bit lower if you want but it's just thereabouts we can see then used it as support look again a support and resistance it became resistance there then used it as support the very next day break gate came back down retested it retested it and fell below but we're in 
this kind of mark here again if you see polka dot on this yellow line down to this red line it's generally telling you based on history this is a really good time to buy because it's likely getting ready to break out but every now and then we have a breakout to the downside but again you need to ask yourself at polka dot here the dollar value it's fair value right now against bitcoin looking like it's good and could go a lot higher against ethereum looking good like it could go a whole lot higher the risk is you get in here and maybe it has to come back down to here so was that 9552 uh i think guay to 6157 guay so that'll hurt but what is the reward if polka dot gets a new all-time high against ethereum 9,500 let's say thereabouts to 200 no to 24,405 and that's just to get an old all-time high let alone if it goes higher polka dot against bitcoin all right same thing boom had its breakout came back down retested an old resistance point broke down fell through that came down and hey presto what do you know finds an old support uh point bounces around again breakout rejected at an old resistance point comes back down retests an old resistance and support point and goes above so we can see this it just plays out over and over again it uses old points as either support or resistance now we can't always tell exactly what it's going to be but they're generally good indicators again we had the big breakout now it comes down breaks actually just below but again you could come down here uh, and there's not much difference between the two finds its support now it's starting to break out so polka dot is on the up against bitcoin but now look where we are it keeps bouncing off this mark bouncing 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 this could definitely break down and again maybe we have to come back down here but again we have another wedge here this is forming a bit of a wedge and again maybe this then bounces up comes to here comes back down and we break to the upside but you've got to ask yourself again the risk to reward right here probably if we do break down it's going to come to here maybe we break down and come to here but what happens if we go and price discovery we've got to come up to here just to get to the old all-time high that's a pretty good reward versus uh, the risk which is more than likely here but definitely possible down here against the reward we get to here and then go into price discovery right ladies and gentlemen this was a bit of a long one and i do apologize but i wanted to bring you some hope in because i have been again i don't want to say bearish but i've just seen the dead cat bounce pattern on bitcoin there is plenty of good looking technicals out there and plenty of things that look like they could be a good buy but this is where i'm stuck at the moment i need to see bitcoin get above 40 what's that 45,000. then needs to get above 48,000. And then needs to get above 52,000 before i'm going to rush out and touch any of the alts because if this plays out and is a dead cat bounce then i don't want to be chasing the alts i'm going to be continuing to dollar cost average into bitcoin all the way down i'll be putting more into stable coins until i see a true reversal pattern and i just haven't seen that but really as long as bitcoin is staying above 40,000, we can hover in and around here for ages and guess what's going to happen if bitcoin just continues to hover in and around here you're going to get big pumps from altcoins but if bitcoin then dumps and then starts to hover between 40,000 and sort of 38,000, again you're going to lose a lot of those gains so for me i'm taking the safe route i'm not getting into the altcoins yet even though they are looking super juicy i need to see what bitcoin's going to do but again if bitcoin just ranges in and around here all those altcoins are looking primed and we could have an altcoin season even without bitcoin going to new all-time highs just because it simply ranges around here i think that's less likely i think we need bitcoin to make a move and to the upside to drag all the altcoins up and then for bitcoin to again go to a new all-time high whether that's 70 80 000, and have all the altcoins again then start to go through another altcoin season that's what i'm seeing on the charts there's definitely hopium out there uh, it's not all bearish at the moment we just need to see how this bitcoin chart plays out before we're really bullish or bearish stay safe be kind to one another if you're on that game train congratulations to you and i'll see you next time